Hey Kevin, this is Mitch. Just going to shoot you that quick video that we talked about on Facebook with the three tips to get some more clients online. So we'll take a look at your website. We'll take a look at three of your top competitors, see what they're doing, how they're getting all their traffic, and how you can outrank them to get some of that traffic for yourself. <clears throat> so the three things that we're going to talk about are content, backlinks, and citations. For content, Google likes to see about 1,500 words of content on a home page. Um, and they can also read what you save your images as. So you want to make sure that you're saving them um, as keyword intent phrases and not, you know, uh, non keyword intent phrases. Uh, you do have a very nice looking website. You just want to add some content in there with the right keywords. And we'll talk about keywords in a couple minutes. So I just looked up a couple of different uh, lawn care and landscaping companies in Vancouver. Um, so we'll just take a look real quick. So you can see they have a little bit of content on here. Um, let's say they have 1,500 words, then you want 1,750. Uh, you just want to have more than your competition. They don't have that much. They don't really have that much content either. I think 1,500 words would definitely have all your competition beat um, without you know putting it through a word counter. So the next thing we'll do is we'll talk about backlinks. And all a backlink is, is a link from one website to another website. When you link the websites, they're gonna pass power. So not all backlinks are created equal. You wanna go after high power backlinks. On Arifs, one of the paid tools that I use, they rank websites power with UR and DR. You want these two numbers as close together as possible and as high as possible. And that's gonna to lead to a more powerful website. Um, I can see that you have four backlinks coming in. Uh, but would like to see a lot more backlinks to bring that power up. Take a look at some of your competition. You can see they have 442 backlinks, um, and they have a pretty decent power. The good thing is, is we can actually go in and take a look and see what websites they're getting all of their backlinks from and go after those same links because if it put them on the first page of Google, it'll put you on the first page as well. You just want to go after those same backlinks and then get more. So they have 189 backlinks, not that powerful. And then um, the Vinca, uh, 271 backlinks. We'd like to see this number a little bit higher, uh, but still they're ranking for some keywords. So now to give you an idea of what all that backlinking will do, we'll take a look at a few keywords real quick. So you rank for one keyword currently. This is gonna be the search term on Google. This is going to be the average monthly search volume, and this is going to be the KD or the keyword difficulty. It tells us how hard and how long it's going to take to rank for these keywords. It's ranked on a scale of 0 to 100, with 0 being the easiest and 100 being the hardest. So you want to go after those high volume, low KD keywords. You can see here that landscaping West Vancouver is searched on average 100 times a month. Right now you're on the bottom of the eighth page for this one, so you're not getting any clicks on your website. We'll just take a peek here. So, um, landscaping North Vancouver, 350 searches a month. Landscapers North Vancouver, 350 searches a month. Landscaping West Vancouver, North Vancouver landscaping, 350 searches a month. So you can see that uh, there is quite a bit of search volume coming in for landscaping in your area. Let's see. Let's take a peek here at the last one. Landscaping Company Vancouver. So once you go through all your competition and find the keywords that you want to rank for, you're going to want to put those keywords into the content on your home page and your service pages, and then push those powerful backlinks to those pages. And then you're going to start ranking for these keywords and start bringing in a lot of buyer intent traffic and leads. The last thing we'll talk about is citations. If I were to search landscaping Vancouver CA, um, you're going to get this map pack that's going to pop up right here with the top three businesses. In order to get your business in this top three, you first want to make sure that you have as many reviews as possible. Um, you want to make sure that you optimize your listing first. 
Um, so as many pictures as possible. You want to have more than your competition saved in the right format. Google likes it 1024 megapixels by 1024 megapixels. They like it to be saved as keyword intent phrases and also geotag those images around your service area. Uh, down here, they're going to give you 750 characters for description. You want to use all 750 characters um, just by looking. They're probably using like maybe less than a quarter. Um, you want to have that completely filled out. Then you can go after citations, and that's how you're going to get in that top three spot. And all a citation is is a name, address, and phone number listed on as many online directories as possible. It's going to be like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and there's hundreds that you've probably never heard of. And a lot of times they're also going to give you a spot for a backlink as well. So you can kind of kill two birds with one stone and go after the citations to rank in the map pack at the same time as you're going after the backlinks to rank in the organic search engines. If you have questions about any of this or you need help implementing any of this on your website, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to jump on a phone call and take a little bit of a deeper dive into this with you.